Hello there guys, it's Explosive Gaming here and I bring to you today my first ever video on Football Manager 2013. It's challenge mode I'm starting up and I'm starting with the Decathlon Challenge. So I think a good place to start really is what is the Decathlon Challenge? It's basically where I travel around the world at various different clubs, move about from place to place and try and win 10 different league titles in any of the world's top leagues really, it doesn't just have to be Europe because I don't want to limit myself to that. So I've just started up a game here now and I'm starting myself at Shamrock Rovers in the Irish League. So Shamrock Rovers in the Irish Premier Division, sorry. Uh, we're predicted first so I'm hoping maybe to get my first league title in this season but the reputation of the club is only semi-professional so um, it could be quite hard to get a move out at the end of the season if I do do well. So here's my squad here. Uh, it's the quite in-depth squad actually. But looking at my team report that I've just got. It looks quite weak in certain areas. So for example, for signings, I'm thinking of that now. I'd probably have to sign a new centre-back. Because three and a half star for your main centre-backs. I mean, I've got two of them. But then... My right back looks good, and my left back looks okay, I guess. Goalie looks very weak. I'm definitely going to try and... I'm probably going to sign in a lone goalie, because uh, obviously two and a half stars not brilliant. It's not the end of the world. I might try and get a young, sort of up-and-coming one from the Premier League in, maybe. Uh, in terms of midfield, my best player in the squad is Shane Robinson, four and a half star. He doesn't look that good, and he's 31. So what I think I've decided to do is sign a nice young centre midfielder and have him learn off of Shane Robinson for the future, if I stay here for long enough. If not, I just sign a good talent for Shamrock Rovers. I want them to do well, because they are my first club. Um, and then strikers are looking okay. I always like to bring in my own striker though on Football Manager, so um, I might actually look to bring in one of them myself. Uh, in terms of tactics now... I've just been to my team meeting and they've suggested that I go for a 4 3 1 2. So if I ask them to pick, let's look who gets in the squad quickly. Advance forward, and I think Shepard is on loan from Reading to me. And he's an advance forward again. So we've got two advance forwards taking up the squad. I always like to put a deep line playmaker in and a ball winning. I play with fluid probably and control. And then I'll just set my other tactics to some basic ones that they actually know. So I'll go 4 4 2, and I think I'll have a 4 5 1. Uh, where's 4 5 1? There we go. Okay, so they're going to be my basic tactics for the coming season. Obviously, my midfield left position did look quite weak, so I might have to sign one of them as well. I'm going to be mainly looking to bring in free transfers and, and loan players. Because uh, obviously my club, well, if I sorry quickly just go to my boardroom, I have no money, no transfer budget, sorry, and I think wages I've got 2,700 available wage budget, so not an awful lot. My youth prospects look quite good though, and I'm gonna maybe try and get them to upgrade the youth facilities for just in case I do stay here for a few seasons, then uh, I can uh, so, uh, bring in some of the ones from the academy and that. Uh, my main goal this season is I am in the Champions League, but winning the league is my priority. We won it the last two seasons. Um, but yeah, I want to. I don't really want to go very far in the Champions League, so I want to concentrate on the league. But obviously, I would like to reach the group stages, but we we'll, we we'll just see how it goes. I think next time for this next video that's coming out after this one, I will probably have played a few games into my season maybe it's at the moment it's um, 24th of January so what I'll do is the transfer window ends in a week because the Irish season starts in February well second no sorry March in March sorry I got that wrong second of March is my first game against draw header yeah, so what I'll do is I'll probably get into some of the games and then in the next video I'll take you through some of the signings I've got in and how I've gotten in my first couple of games. Thank you very much for watching and please tune in next time to see how I've got on. 
Uh, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Explosive Gaming. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.